feedback. Before I get into it, I just want to tell everybody that my one-on-one -on -one consultations are on fire right now. They're going on. Um, if you'd like to schedule one, click the link below and I'll speak with you. Whatever topic you want to talk about, whether it's pertaining to your life or just um, the world in general. Um, if you have certain questions for me that you kind of feel like are more personal, I'd be glad to speak with you for sure. Reality is a giant mirror. A big mirror. A big old mirror. Whatever you think it is, whatever conclusions you make about reality and whatever belief systems you firmly believe about it is what you what what you see. It's all you see. Um, I mean, of course, there's those kind of more object, objective facts of reality, you know, gravity and things like that. Of course, scientifically speaking, there are things that are just, you know, very true as far as we know um, about how the world works. And we've been pretty accurate about it. But I'm talking about how I'm talking more as pertaining about the certain limitations that you kind of set on what you can do. The fact remains is we all have an idea of how the world works and we have all limited ourselves and have painted this picture and had and have had these thoughts that um, there's only the only this like few people can get this far in life. Um, these groups of people are lucky. I can only get this far in life. And of course, this holds us back because we don't understand just how much of a mirror reality is. I've noticed this um, not only through you know certain books I've been reading, but also through just looking at my life in general. If I look at myself back in just even May of this year, certain belief systems of mine have changed. And because they have changed, my life is a little different um, because reality is reflecting what I'm believing in it. I'm seeing certain things because I've allowed myself to. You know, I haven't boxed myself into just a smaller belief system. I've opened up and because I've opened up, I get to see more. Now, what do I mean when I say reality is a mirror? What I mean is we think that we don't paint our own world. We think we, we think that it's just circumstance. This just happens, you know, um, I'm I'm this way because it just happened. All of this just happens. Reality controls me and I'm at the mercy of it. I'm at the mercy of life. Circumstances just occur and I'm at the mercy of it. This is far from true. This is completely false. It's up to you to decide what reality is and then reality follows. But we're bred to think that's the other way around where reality is the thing that shapes us. Like I said before, yes, there are certain things that occur that you have no control over. But most of the time you have you have a thing called making an intention, thinking of a certain outcome to occur and then doing things to kind of move towards it. Now, this is also known as the law of attraction and things like that. It's a thought form that you're visualizing or believing in and adding, you know, that energy towards that you want to kind of happen or manifest. I originally learned about this um, through, you know, Quasi Joe here. He's a great YouTuber. You guys should check him out. And I also learned it in this book called Transurfing Reality in 78 Days. This bad boy right here, love this book. You set this intention for something to happen and then there's this certain delay that reality has. Let's say your goal is to be more charismatic. That's something you wanna do, but you've always been a very shy person and kind of a little really, really introverted. So, but your intention is to be charismatic. Right now in your reality, you are not charismatic. You are introverted, you're nerdy. <laughs> you, uh, you know, when people talk to you, <laughs> maybe they're they're like, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> no social skills, okay? That's cool, that's the start though. But your intention is to be very charismatic. So you have to focus on that. You don't focus on you being introverted and shy. When you're interacting, um, yes, maybe you had some shy moments, but at the end of the day, you still focused on the great parts of the conversation. What are some things you did in the conversation that brought you closer to being charismatic? Maybe you cracked a joke and somebody giggled or laughed. Boom, plus one. Maybe somebody wanted to hang out with you later. Okay, you're a little more charismatic now. So you focus on that and you repeat those actions to get you closer to um, being charismatic. And you think in terms of your charismatic ideal self. Now, because you're focusing on your charismatic ideal self, you're not looking at your reality, the mirror. You're looking at yourself first and then the mirror will follow. Quasi, um, he talked about in one of his videos, It's called. there's this delay that happens where your intention is you're 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 focusing on your intention but reality takes time to kind of catch up 
and then that mirror will gradually reflect that and then that's when you kind of just manifest that intention so in this sense as far as charisma you're focusing on the charisma not the reality of you being shy and then you're waiting for that and then eventually gradually over time that charisma that that, that mirror just starts reflecting that charisma now i'll take this a step further and say you should always be um focusing on yourself and not the outside world now the outside world gives you data of course about where you are in the world how things how you relate to the world and things like that you know how are your finance how are your finances going um how's your education going how's your friendships going which is great but at the end of the day to influence reality it comes down to a focus on changing you first and then it follows it's always like that it's not life is happening to me and i have to adhere to it i have to follow it no it's I have to come up with whatever I want to happen and then make that go do steps to make it happen and the reality will catch up to me because it's following my intention it's adapting to my intention and I think this if you make this shift and you just switch it around it can be so profound because you understand how powerful you actually are how much of a actual say you have in your life and you have a, a, a lot of say um, it's all about seeing that that God in you like it's seeing that God in you right in a sense we are all just creating whatever we want to create a lot of us are creating it without knowing it we think it's just how things are but it's us creating that mirror you know if you think that reality is just you're just at the whims of reality you will look at the mirror and then focus on whatever you know us humans Unfortunately, we have a bias, neg a bias towards negative focus. When we look at that mirror, we will focus on the negative events that reality is showing us. So we perpetuate that negativity and that becomes like our intention. If you're unconscious about it, that will be your intention of always manifesting the negative without really knowing it. So understand how intention works. It comes down to you first and then reality follows. Once you take the steps to um, get to that goal or get to that um personality trait you want to kind of you kind of want to that personality trait that you want to build and this takes practice and it takes a lot of awareness and it's not always easy but the fruits that it bears is very very good uh so and always understand the natural negativity bias that we have we have a very big negativity bias i mean like it's really crazy and you know it, it's it's um it goes back to primitive times, of course, scoping out danger. That negativity bias is very key. But at the end of the day, we're just so we've just evolved so quickly that our brains just haven't had time to catch up. So a lot of the primitive stuff we still hold here, it's still there. Like that reptilian brain is so powerful because it's the first part of the brain that developed. That's a key, that's a huge thing to know once once you're thinking of this, you know, once you're thinking of reality, of manifesting what you want and creating what you want, the life that you want, you have to think about the bias negativity focus you have that everybody has. And you also have to shift from focusing on your intention and then having reality follow over you looking at reality, aka the mirror, and then following it and then causing your negativity bias to come in. And then this is what causes people to just have this pessimistic thinking. It's the focus. It's all in the mind. Everything's in the mind. So I'm going to end this video with a quote um, from Reality Transurfing. You guys should get it. People are like the little kitten that stands in front of the mirror, not realizing that it is looking at its own image. You might think that you are at the hands of circumstance, which you are incapable of changing, but this is an illusion. Fake prop, which you can easily dispel if you want to. Unconsciously, you are going round in circles. You observe reality and express your relationship to it. The mirror confirms the content of your relationship to reality in waking life. It is like a closed loop feedback system. Reality is created as a reflection of your thought forms. And the nature of the thought form is, in turn, largely defined by the relationship you see in the mirror. The principle of creating your own reality lies in turning the loop in the opposite direction. Look at yourself first and only then in the mirror. Boom. Pretty much, 
pretty that, that that's that's super fire that's super fire and that's super super true um and i i did this just looking at my own life i mean i most of the things i say in my videos i'm not just talking like most of the stuff is things i've thought about and i've applied to myself and i'm just like wow this is not what they taught me in school <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is not what's in the mainstream. Wow, this is not on TV. You're like, wow. This <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Um, yeah, guys, um, thanks for support. Uh, you know, apply what apply what was said in this video and really think about it. And I think it'll go a long way. Um, thanks for everything. Everybody have a good one. Happy Saturday. Peace.